welcome to another edition of We Stream, the official reaction channel of epic rap battles of history. So, today we're going to be checking out Hulk Hogan versus Kim Jong Un. Whatever. And it's like the extended edition or the, the new edit something. I don't remember the original edit, so I'm not going to be able to really point out anything different from this edit to the old one. But whatever, that's what we're checking out. If you're new to the channel, I am a musician. I make my own content. Check it out. They say I have anxiety. I'm clinically depressed. There's other terminology, but crazy sounds the best. They tell me to break free. It's all just in my head, limping with the busted knee. Just walk normal instead. And that's the plug. So let's get right into this. I thought my headphones weren't on for some reason. Whatever. Let, let, let's watch. Let's see what weirdness. I, I don't understand this matchup at all. So let's see if uh, I understand more after watching this. I really, I don't, I don't understand. License to ill instead of license to kill because his name is ill. Swallow my rhymes like a steroid pill because, you know, Hulk Hogan, steroids. Swallow it. Make it a joke that he takes steroids. Nothing that crazy. Your body looks like a spray tan banana with a woe's mustache and a whack bandana. All right, we got some visual, you know, what you, you your ugly jokes, <laughs> right? The he's making fun of the bandana, the the spray tan look, and the uh, the the what are these called? The little chops, whatever those mustaches are called, douchebag biker mustache. I'm coming at you like the age of Ric Flair, bitch. I'm suplex you by your freaking dick hair. All right, coming at you like the Asian Ric Flair, because let me get two claps and a Ric Flair. Woo! Jet flying, son of a gun, and I'm having a hard time holding these alligators down. Woo! Holy alligators down! I give you two claps and a Ric Flair. Woo! Anyway, um, and he's gonna suplex you by your dick hair? Like, I, I, I'm so confused. Why did why did Kid just start getting like hardcore into the wrestling? I, I don't understand anything about this. Watching this is not helping me understand at all. Yeah, color me confused uh, all around. But as long as Nice Peter starts his verse with something to do with brother, okay, brother, then we'll be on good terms again. Your whole family's a bunch of Barbies, dude. You want beef? Eat this Korean barbecue. There you go. Uh, apparently he's gonna start with, you got a ringside seat instead of brother, so I'm already still upset. Um, and he calls his whole family Barbies, which visually, they were just literally showing Barbies, and Hulk Hogan's family, you know, they're all dolled up, weird, creepy, Barbie sort of things. Barbecue, as in cook your whole family. Barbie, play on words, you get it? What's the Hulkster guy? Your whole family's a bunch of Barbies, dude! You want beef? Eat this Korean barbecue! And you want beef, eat this Korean barbecue. Again, that's uh, the other part of that is he's saying, suck my dick. It, and yeah, and also that he's going to cook them. There's, there's like two or three things in that bar. It's a good bar, but I'm just really confused. Despite that good bar. Yo, you got a ringside seat to your own Smackdown, brother. Hey, there's a brother. We're, we're almost good. You look like Sonic the Hedgehog, mother. Sound like the hedgehog's mother, I guess because of the the flat top and the girlish qualities of Kim. Side seat to your own smackdown, brother! You look like Sonic the Hedgehog! Uh, can I just hold on? Got a ring side seat to your own smackdown! Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> this <laughs> these legs that just get suffocated by the yellow uh Undies or whatever. <laughs> There's no more girth in the mid zone of Nice Peter here. 
This is such a weird looking thing. Come on, brother, you look like Sonic the Hedgehog, mother. You're a freak, a phony, a raceroni jabroni. I'm gonna bounce you like a chick for my alimony. Alright, so he's saying you're a freak, a fraud, a phony, a rice-a-roni, jabroni. You get, you know, rice-a-roni, it's fake-ass food. Uh, and then he's gonna bounce you, you know, wrestling bounce like a check for my alimony, because we know Hulkster's been in some trouble for not paying, you know, on alimony and, I think, child support and crap like that. Alimony and child support are different, but I think the Hulkster has to pay both. Come on, dude! All the little Hulksters know! Thank you for saying Hulkster. I'll hang you from the ropes like a South Park puppet show! Alright, so hang you from the ropes like a South Park puppet show. That's a reference to Team America World Police, which is a fantastic film by the creators of South Park. Why is everyone so fucking stupid? Why aren't more people intelligent like me? I'll choke hold you hostage like Laura Ling! Choke host. Hostage like Laura Ling, because Laura Ling, one of the people held hostage by the North Korean government. Brother, I'll leg drop your ass back to Beijing! Leg drop your ass back to Beijing. Okay. He's getting into, you know, more political hostilities of the North Korean peoples. Beijing is in China, you blonde asshole! I'm a god amongst men, you're a suburban commando! He's saying Beijing's in China, you blonde asshole. Basically saying that Hulkster wasn't trying to make a clever political commentary. He was literally saying, I will bounce you back to Beijing, not understanding that Kim is from North Korea, not from Beijing. So I don't know which is which. I don't know if Hulkster was trying to make some sort of political statement about the climate of North Korea and Beijing, or if Hulkster was just being, you know, geographically and politically illiterate and Kim called him out. But again, I don't know anything that's going on in this battle, so whatever. North Korea, bitch, let me give you a tour. By the way, your wife says my dick is bigger than yours. All right, so now he's talking about him being a suburban commando and that... Let me give you a tour of North Korea. Your wife says my dick's bigger than yours. Like, what the fuck? I, I, where... What's the context of this joke? How is Kim bouncing with Hogan's wife? Plus, I don't think... Asian people should ever be making big dick jokes, like... That's a tough one to pull off if you're Asian. We cannot achieve much with so small penis, but you, Americans, wow, penis so big, so big penis! Well, I, I guess it is a pretty good size. That's not the best place to try to go. Hulk Hogan goes down! I don't know if he can finish the battle! We're getting a mid-narrator. Commentary, WWE style. He, he's reaching for the ropes! Hits! Hits! Macho Man Randy Savage! Oh, we got Randy Savage. <laughs> this is so dumb. Ooh, yeah, it's about to get real. Watch me snap into a Slim Jim Kim Jong Il. Because. Randy Savage did Slim Jim commercials for a hot minute. Put a light up your light? Yeah! Give me those Slim Jim! Yeah. 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 the spice! Baby, do the dice! So. I don't like dead little bitches with glasses, but when midgets step up, I stomp midget asses! Oh, God. See, I think this is how I usually feel if I watch professional, professional wrestling. Is I'm just like, why am I here? What is happening? And I, I guess in that way, they've truly captured the spirit of WWE. I still don't know why the leader of North Korea is here, though. Macho man, there is no equal. So spend less time rapping is not feeding me. I diss on North Korea's notorious reputation for being having its population being starved out, though they claim that they're totally fine. Punk, I will drop your whole nation on behalf of the entire World Wrestling Federation. World Wrestling Federation, that's the that's the old name, WWF. 
which I always thought was way better than WWE, but the World Wrestling Federation got sued by the World Wildlife Foundation because apparently they had WWF first. So then they had to change to WWE, which uh, there's just something intrinsically that sounds a lot more pansy about WWE than WWF. You know? Ooh, yeah. Who won? Who's good? You decide. Rubber up. Bottle of Wonder! I don't even know what the E stands for. World World Wrestling Entertainment or some crap? Establishment? Yeah, yeah, flexing on all your patrons. I've got like 12. <laughs> Alright, so that was Kim Jong-il versus Hulk Hogan, the new edit, whatever the old edit was. I, I d still have no idea why those two were matched up. I don't know what I just saw. I am confused as hell. That's all I can say. Uh, if you liked this for some reason, comment. If you didn't, comment. Probably won't read most of the comments because I usually don't. Because, you know, I very much appreciate your guys' viewership and support of this channel, but I really don't give too many fucks about your horrible, horrible opinions. That's just what it is. Welcome to the channel, bitches. Until next time, I scheme, you scheme, we all scheme for ice cream. Bye!